Welcome to Okazaki, the birthplace of Tokugawa Ieyasu, Hacho Miso, and the Aoi Samurai Entertainers. My name is Michael and I'll be taking you on a short walking tour through the park and castle grounds. Let's go! Okazaki is located in the center of Japan, about 30 minutes from the city of Nagoya. The park itself is just 10 minutes away from the station and is a great place to relax and soak up some culture at the same time. As well as the main castle and Shinto shrine, there's also a tea house, large pond filled with koi, and peaceful nature walks to enjoy. The park is also the site for several festivals held throughout the year, including the Grand Ieyasu Parade, held at the peak of the cherry blossom season in spring. Behind me is the spot for the Okazaki Summer Festival, where around 20,000 fireworks are launched into the sky above me. This is the Ieyasu and Mikawa Bushi Museum, featuring displays of authentic samurai armor, as well as models depicting the famous Battle of Sekigahara. This is actually inside the museum, inside Okazaki Park, in the Tokugawa Ieyasu Museum. And you can actually try on the armor, obviously replicas that the warriors used to use. Yes, that's enough of my samurai aspirations. Here's the real thing, the Aoi Samurai Entertainment Squad. Enjoy! This is the focal point of Okazaki Park, Okazaki Castle. It was the birthplace of Tokugawa Ieyasu, the first shogun of the Tokugawa shogunate, who brought around 260 years peace to Japan, one of the most famous rulers in all of Japanese history. Let's take a look inside. This behind me is known as Shachihoko. It's got the head of a tiger and the body of a fish and they usually put them on top of castles and other historical buildings. They're said to cause rain to fall, so as to protect the building from fire. Just below the castle lies Tatsuki Jinja, Okazaki's main Shinto shrine, with a rather fascinating legend. We're now inside the main shrine, and here, the god that is deified is a dragon. There's a particular legend that said uh, from a well just nearby here, a dragon rose up to the sky and spout, uh, spouted water out of the well, uh, and it said it brought happiness to the town. So now inside here, up on the roof above me, we have a wooden carving of a dragon. And it said that if you uh, pay your respects here and clap, you can hear the dragon roar. So we're going to give that a try. Just to the west of the castle grounds are two factories, Kakuku and Maria. A special blend of soybean paste is produced here, unique to Okazaki, called Hacho Miso. This is Hacho Miso. This is so it's a, it's a salty taste, obviously. Yeah. So it's good for, I don't know, nomi and things like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Even today, Hacho Miso is still made using traditional methods. Entering the factory, it's like taking a step back in time, 
walking amongst the giant wooden barrels, each containing six tons of fermenting miso paste. The river stones, piled on top of the barrels, are stacked in such a way as to remain secure even during an earthquake. In fact, there are only a handful of workers here who have the skill and experience to stack the stones in this way. Okay. Hmm. I bet it's very, very uh, strong taste on its own like this, yeah. but yeah, it's not too bad actually. No, that'd be very good as a, as a topping or unused in all dishes, I think. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Hacho miso is used in all types of dishes, but perhaps one of the best is dengaku miso, grilled vegetables or tofu with a thick coating of delicious miso sauce. Be sure to give it a try if you come to Okazaki. One of the Japanese phrases I feel really probably represents Okazaki is the phrase Dekishi kaoru machinami, which kind of literally translates to something like a town which smells like history. But it's actually much deeper than that for me. It's kind of a, a sense of the culture and the, the history is sort of instilled within the town. It's still a part, a central part of the town itself. And, uh, and while there are lots of new modern additions, like the uh, Aoi Samurai uh, Entertainment uh, crew and stuff, there's a lot of uh, sort of old scenery as well. And that, that sort of juxtaposition, I feel, is very, very interesting.